Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a bunch of new Australian drugstore makeup to play with. Some of the stuff are more newer releases, some of the stuff's been out for a while, it's just taken me a hot minute to get around to trying it. But I've got lots of fun things here, so let's get into it. First up, I've got this NYX Plump Right Back Plumping Serum and Primer. And this one says that you can use it alone or under foundation and your skin will instantly feel and look plump. Let's see, I love the packaging. The fluoro is just funky. <laughs> right, let's put it on one side of my face first and see if it actually plumps things up, you know? It has a very cooling gel formula. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Quite hydrating. This side of my face definitely looks a bit better because it's got that hydration. So is that classified as plump? I don't know. I don't know. The next product is by The Quick Flick and this is The Quick Brow. So this has been out for quite a while and I am so excited to finally try it. Everyone I see on Instagram who tries it, their brows just look friggin' fabulous. And I actually got to meet Iris who is the creator of The Quick Flick. She was at the very first Priceline Beauty prescription event that I went to and she filled me in on everything about the brand and it was just so fun to meet her. She was super lovely. So I'm going to go for that more laminated sculpted brow look. So it says to apply the gel, the what? Apply the gel through the brows working forwards and backwards and then use the combs on the opposite end to style into desired shape. I'm going to let that set down a little bit and put the product through the other brow while I wait. So as you can see, it is applying white, but it says that it will dry down clear. So let's go in with the comb and brush these hairs up. I'm kind of brushing them up on an angle. I'm very sparse in my arch, so this kind of product will be good so I can brush the hairs up in there, make it look a bit more full. Look how beautifully brushed out they are there. Like, ooh, okay. I am just going to like press down on them a bit. Flatten them to my head. <laughs> All right, I think they look pretty good. I am going to let them like set down and dry before I go in with a pencil. For foundation, I've got the Max Factor Miracle Pure Skin Improving Foundation. This contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, SPF 30, and it says that it is a collagen boosting complex. It provides hydration and firmer looking skin. It has a medium buildable coverage and a radiant finish. Now at Priceline, this one retails for $39.95, so it's pretty expensive. It comes in 15 shades, but it's pretty much 15 shades of beige. I've got 30 porcelain, which is the lightest shade. So this is what the shade looks like here. It's quite light. The formula actually feels rich and very creamy. I'm not expecting much coverage from this. Maybe I should have put on an anti-redness primer as well because my skin's a bit how you going at the moment. I'm going to use a brush to apply it because I think I will get better coverage over a sponge. Okay, that coverage is a lot better than I thought. That's covering everything up quite nicely. Feels very lightweight, shade's not bad. So this is pretty much one layer done. I am going to go in with just a tiny bit more and tap over everything with my sponge because I do have a few brush marks. All right, my skin still looks very natural, but it is looking a little bit dry, especially around some of these blemishes here. It does look like it's dried down though. Like I'm not getting too much of like a glossy kind of dewy finish. Not sure about that one. I think I'll have to keep testing it. Now the next product is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum and I have dipped into this. I just could not wait and I am so glad I did because this is the best concealer that I have tried in a long time. I am 31 next week and I can definitely see some differences in my under eyes with the fine lines and just how concealers sit. A lot of them have been looking super dry lately, which is strange, like concealers that I usually love. This, I didn't purchase it when it first came out because of the name. I was like, oh, serum, it's probably really lightweight, not very good coverage, not really my style, but oh, this is so good. It has beautiful coverage. 
it dries down. Like I've never been one of those people who don't set their concealer. This does not need to be set. It's amazing. It barely settles into fine lines. It looks so smooth and flawless. It's rich and creamy. I just, I can't get enough. So I have the shade light. I'm just going to take a little bit and pop that under the eyes. You really don't need much either. It works really nicely over blemishes too. It doesn't cling to any dry patches. Again, it just like gives some coverage and smooths everything out. Oh my God, if you are going to buy one thing I recommend and have like similar under eyes to me, this concealer will change your life. <laughs> I have not been this impressed in so long. I'm blown away. Now, am I the last person on earth to try the Enco Beauty Instant Contour Wands or what? <laughs> Because I think I am. Enco Beauty is one of those brands that like to dupe really popular high-end products. So this is meant to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I've got it in the shade Light Slash Medium. I'm just going to use this bit on my hand and with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, take a little bit and tap it onto my cheeks. I don't really like to go in with a bunch of product on my face because I just feel like I end up with too much and and that's an issue isn't it can't blend that out okay loving it so far blending very easily it's got a very lightweight texture quite thin I don't know if water is the, the right word but yeah it's thin and lightweight blending beautifully look at that okay I see what the hype is about I like that you have time to work with it as well. It's not just like drying down immediately and then you're trying to blend and it ruins all your foundation. I have heard that the next shade, it might be like deep or dark or something, is actually a little bit more cool toned. So it works a bit better for fair skin. But this shade is still working nicely. It's quite warm though. All right, that one is definitely a winner from me. We'll see how long it wears, but I am loving the finish of it. It just looks very natural. Oh God, I am just so puffed so quickly. If you didn't see my pregnancy announcement video, I am actually 12 weeks filming this. And yeah, I'm just puffed all the time. This is actually the first like sit down beauty video I filmed in quite a long time. It feels good. I don't have a new blush to try, so I'm just going to go in with the Enco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint in the shade Dusk. For highlighter, I have the Revolution Bright Light Highlighter. I believe it's in the shade Strobe Champagne. Again, it's one of those little windy up, soft, spongy things on top. The shade is a bit more pink than I was expecting by the name Champagne. This is a swatch here. I'm just going to take the bum of my sponge, squeeze it in, take a little bit, and just tap that on the cheekbones. Oh yeah, that is bright, holy. Holy moly, she's metallic. It's applying very nicely with the sponge though. Oh, pretty. What a beautiful glow that's giving. It doesn't look too metallic either. Like when you swatch it, it's very metallic, but it doesn't look like that on the face. Before I go in with my eyes and my brows, I'm going to spritz with the NYX Plump Finish Setting Spray. It says that it's got electrolytes, and again, it will give you plump looking skin. Oh, it's a bit of an aggressive spritz, but it does feel nice. It smells nice too. All right, so I just put some concealer on my eyelids and finished my brows. I am very happy with the finished look of my brows. I just went in with my NYX brow pencil and the Essence Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen. For eyeshadow, I've got this palette by Revolution. It is the Forever Dynamic Allure Palette. These are the shades here. Very, very pretty. It's been a while since I dipped into some shades like this. I think I might do like this rosy matte, maybe a bit of these two shimmers here, deepen it up with the purple maybe. Okay, first impressions. This shadow is blending beautifully. 
These palettes are only twelve dollars. You're getting two, four, six, eight shades. Just to throw on, like maybe I'd prefer over this one. So sure, but I've been using it since then. Also, just like comes off. Dries for being a high end mess. All right, I am pretty happy with how those shadows blended out. The metallics don't look like extremely metallic. They weren't too creamy. They're a bit hard pressed. But really happy with how the mattes blended out and overall I think it looks nice. For mascara I've got the Rimmel Wonder Volume Thrill Seeker. The wand has that hourglass like Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara wand. I do love a big fluffy wand. It says it gives bold volume with a weightless feel. It has a creamy whipped formula. It's clump proof and smudge proof. All right loving it already. <laughs> My lashes are quite naturally already pretty long so I look for something that gives them lots of volume and keeps them separated doesn't clump them together and so far this is doing just that so I'm going in with a little second layer here that's what I'm talking about I always thought Rimmel mascara has got a bit of a bad rap and I tried their kind and free mascara recently and freaking loved it it's got a very different one to this it's like just that skinny little typical mascara wand. So I wasn't expecting much, but holy, it really made my lashes long. All right, love, 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 love. Lashes look exactly how I like them to be. Nice and long, plenty of volume and not clumped together. And then for lipstick, I've got the Revlon Colorstay Matte Light Crowns. Now I did do an Instagram video and TikTok trying on all the shades. So I'll link that down below if you want to go and see. This is a beautiful formula, very creamy. I like that it's in this little twist up packaging. It feels very lightweight on the lips and it doesn't cling to like dry flaky lips, which is really nice. So I've got three of the shades swatched here. This one is She's Fly, Clear the Air and Tread Lightly. I think I'm going to go in with Clear the Air today. Something a little deep to go with the eyes. And then let's just go with a little gloss in the middle because this Revolution Juicy Bomb lip gloss is just, <gasps> it's looking at me and I need to use it. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, it just looks so juicy, yes. Okay, so I've just turned off this set of lights so you can get a real good close up for how all the products are sitting on my skin. The foundation I'm a bit iffy about because it does look a bit dry around here and on my chin and I did not set with powder. So I just, I'm not sure about that. It looks like it's clinging. I just don't like the way it's blended out. I think my cheeks look good. Love the Emco Beauty contour wand with the blush and the highlighter. Oh, that looks great. Brows, obsessed, love the eyeshadow palette. I'm pretty happy with most of the makeup that I used today. All right, well that is all from me. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you've tried out any of these products down below in the comments because I would love to have a little chat about it. Don't forget you can come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And again, if you haven't seen my pregnancy announcement vlog, I'll have that linked down below. I need a big drink of water. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.